Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into your full moon energy reading for January 25th. Now this month's full moon is in the fire sign of Leo. And fire energy is all about passion. It's all about creativity. So this month, I challenge you to look inward into your heart's desire, your truest heart's desire, what it is that you desired, maybe even as a child. What did you feel that you could accomplish then? What did you enjoy? This full moon, I challenge all my friends here on the channel to get back to that childlike essence. What's one thing you wanted as a child, big or small, and do it? Get that bed you always wanted, buy that toy, that car, make that move. If you can't, what's blocking the path? And how can you remove the obstacle in the way? For me, something I've always wanted to acquire, accomplish, was the specific bed that I wanted as a little girl. I wanted a canopy bed. It just, you know, when you're a little girl, that's what makes a girl feel like that societal norm of a princess. So this year I've decided to create space and I'm not prepared yet to do so, but I'm going to get a canopy bed. So what does that entail? That entails me moving around some things, creating the space for the bed before I go out and purchase the bed that I want so I know how big it can be, so I know the room that I have, so I can figure out the dimensions and I don't get too much or too little. What will your desire be? What will your childhood dream be fulfilled through this energy? So in these full moon readings, I tap into the energy surrounding you. I look at what's challenging you through this energy. We'll look at how to correct or shift the energy, maybe even release if that's what needs to be released. We'll look at the outcome if action is taken and the outcome if no action is taken. Now, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And if you find the messages helpful or resonate, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So let's dive into the messages. So let's dive right into Virgo's energy for this upcoming full moon. See what it is exactly that you need to release through this energy. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through the upcoming full moon energy? Please and thank you. Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, there's something here, Virgo, and I definitely feel like this is a relationship for you, a person that you have been connecting with for some time that's, I feel like there's been a lot of back and forth between you and this person. At times, it's very on, it's very together, it feels very nice, very blissful. There's also an equal amount of times, or maybe even now becoming more where there's arguments, there's disagreements, there's negativity, okay? I also feel like this person really has you competing for their time, attention, and energy. But what we see here, Virgo, with the energy surrounding you is you should be feeling happy. You should be feeling blissful. It's like everything is working in my life except my relationship. How do I change the trajectory of this path? Okay. I do feel like this relationship is either has already ended or is in the process of coming to an end and you and this person are resisting the change. Okay. The energy surrounding you, the six of wands, it's like you're feeling very uplifted. You're feeling very happy. Have a very good support system around you. For some of you, this is like relating to your career 
and you being successful in your career, successful in your business, things finally coming together, getting on the right path, okay? I do feel like you've had this plan that's been coming together for some time, and now is the time that you're starting to see the influx in the numbers. However, things aren't working for you in this relationship, okay? For some of you, the reason why this is happening is because this person isn't meant to go where you're headed. And you're needing to come to terms with that. However, this is playing out for you, Virgo, in your life. There's definitely a need for some space between you and them. And I feel like this is a hard pill to swallow for both of you. It's like both of you are resisting this change. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Lean into your routine when it comes to work, when it comes to business. Lean into your support system and the people that are around you, supporting you, uplifting you. The things that aren't working. The resistance. It's time to let that go. You can't keep accepting less than in your life because of longevity, because of connection. Those things for a lot of us have been what has been holding us back from achieving our goals, from reaching our desired position in life. Now, Virgo, right now is a really great time. It's first of all, the first full moon of the year. So it's a great time to really get clear on what's being released in order to make space for new things to come in. But even more so with this magician energy on how to transmute, you have to get clear on what you want the outcome to be in life, but also with this person. Do you see yourself with this person long term? Like you can't see your life without them and you want this person in your life always? Or is this a person that you are okay living without? Let's clarify the magician energy. Now, if you take action, you walk away from this. If you free yourself from this person and start something new, they are going to be watching you. I also feel like there is, for some of you, this soul tie here that you're not going to be so easily to release. So this is a person that will come back around multiple times. The energy that's coming out here, we have Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We also have Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, if no action is taken, say you endure, you go through the process with this person and you endure the challenges, the trauma, the separation, coming back together. Either way, Virgo, the path that you're on right now is destined, divinely guided, spiritually intended, however you want to look at this, however you want to receive the energy you're already on the path that you're meant to be on. It's simply about getting clear what's in alignment with that path and what isn't. People, places, and things. And this is a message that's coming out heavy for all of us. I feel like you already know what you want. And that's something that you've already been working towards. Sun, Seven of Pentacles. It doesn't matter one way or the other. You have to get clear on what is in alignment with your happiness. Is this person part of that? Or is there somebody new that's meant to be on your path? So pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance to move forward through this energy thank you guys again for all the love and support for information on full moon rituals for ritual kits for personal readings it's all linked below in the description box 
And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Five cards coming out. So we're going to take them, Virgo. This Knight of Wands, Nine of Swords is imperative to the process moving forward. It's all about gaining that internal clarity and then making the decision and sometimes the hard decision to walk away from things that aren't in alignment with us. There is an energy of needing to mourn the loss, whether the loss is this person, whether the loss is the way that you interacted in this connection before there's big changes that are being made and there is a need for this separation it's a recalibration for those of you that you want this person in your life forever look at this separation as a recalibration to the connection accepting this person as they are is key i'm pretty sure there's certain characteristics about this person that you know this is how this person is. And this is something that's not going to change. So it's either, okay, I accept this person for who they are. Or I let them go so I don't keep hindering their process, their path. Right? And that's okay. Understand that this separation is key. Whether this is going to be separating forever or whether this is temporary, it's going to be imperative to the future, your future and this person's future. Let's pull a moon manifestation oracle to sum up your reading. Focus on the things that aren't resistant and that bring you joy, that bring you happiness confidence. The time is now. This is your time. The world needs you. Much is going to be asked of you as you move through your life's challenges and receive the gifts from spirit. Know that you've been chosen and that you have everything you need to make the right decision. Walk with your head held high and take the next step toward your goal with confidence. Spirit will be with you through every step. Virgo, you're being divinely guided through this time. You're needing to lean into your routine, understanding that the emotional aspect of all of this will come together in time. And this very well could be your person. But there's a lot of resistance between the two of you right now, and it's not conducive to what you're trying to build for your future. So you need to make a very hard decision. And again, move forward with confidence. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.